Leo V the Armenian was emperor of the Byzantine Empire from 813 to 820. A senior general, he forced his predecessor, Michael I Rungabi, to abdicate and assumed the throne. He ended the decade-long war with the Bulgars, and initiated the second period of Byzantine iconoclasm. He was assassinated by supporters of Michael the Amorian, one of his most trusted generals, who succeeded him on the throne. Life Leo was the son of the patrician Bardis, who was of Armenian descent. Leo served in 803 under the rebel general Bardanus Torcos, whom he deserted in favor of Emperor Nikephoros I. The emperor awarded Leo with two palaces, but later exiled him for marrying the daughter of another rebel, the patrician Arsaba. On the other hand, a contemporary source says that one general Leo of the Armenia Conthim was punished for his humiliating defeat by the Arabs during which he also lost the salaries of his thematic units. Punishment also included depriving of his military rank, beating and hair cutting. Recalled by Michael I Rungabi in 811, Leo became governor of the Anatolic theme and conducted himself well in a war against the Arabs in 812, defeating the forces of the Cilician Thuhar under Thabit ibn Nasser. Leo survived the Battle of Versenicia in 813 by abandoning the battlefield, but nevertheless took advantage of this defeat to force the abdication of Michael I in his favor on the 11th of July 813. In a diplomatist move, he wrote a letter to Patriarch Nikephoros in order to reassure him of his orthodoxy. One month later, during his entrance to the palace quarter, he kneeled before the icon of Christ at the chalk gate. A further step in preventing future usurpations was the castration of Michael's sons. With Crumma Bulgaria blockading Constantinople by land, Leo V had inherited a precarious situation. He offered to negotiate in person with the invader and attempted to have him killed in an ambush. The stratagem failed, and although Crum abandoned his siege of the capital, he captured and depopulated Adrianople and Arcadiopolis. When Crum died in spring 814, Leo V defeated the Bulgarians in the environs of Mesimbria and the two states concluded a 30-year peace in 815. According to some sources, Crum participated in the battle and abandoned the battlefield heavily injured. With the iconodule policy of his predecessors associated with defeats at the hands of Bulgarians and Arabs, Leo V reinstituted iconoclasm after deposing Patriarch Nikephoros and convoking a synod at Constantinople in 815. The emperor used his rather moderate iconoclast policy to seize the properties of iconodules and monasteries, such as the rich Studios Monastery, whose influential iconodule abbot, Theodore the Studator, he exiled. Leo V appointed competent military commanders from among his own comrades in arms, including Michael the Amorian and Thomas the Slav. He also persecuted the Paulicians. When Leo jailed Michael for suspicion of conspiracy, the latter organized the assassination of the emperor in the palace chapel of St. Stephen on Christmas, 820. Leo was attending the matin service when a group of assassins disguised as monks suddenly threw off their robes and drew their weapons. In the dim light they mistook the officiating priest for the emperor and the confusion allowed Leo to snatch a heavy cross from the altar and defend himself. He called for his guards, but the conspirators had barred the doors and within a few moments a sword stroke had severed his arm, and he fell before the communion table, where his body was hewed in pieces. His remains were dumped unceremoniously in the snow and the assassins hurried to the dungeons to free Michael II. Unfortunately for them Leo had hidden the key on his person, and since it was too early in the morning to find a blacksmith Michael was hastily crowned as emperor with the iron clasps still around his legs. Leo's family was exiled to monasteries in Prince's Islands.
His four sons were castrated, a procedure so brutally carried out that one of them died during the operation. Even sources vehemently hostile to Leo acknowledge his competence in managing state affairs. Unfortunately, as with all iconoclast emperors, his actions and intentions cannot be easily reconstructed due to the extreme bias of the iconodule sources. Family by his wife Theodosia, a daughter of the patrician R. Saber, Leo V had several children, including Symbatios, renamed Constantine, co-emperor from 814 to 820, Basil, Gregory, Theodosios, 